You could call the Mazda 5 the mini minivan. These smaller minivan type vehicles are very popular in Europe, but the Mazda 5 is the only vehicle like this to be on sale in the U.S. It's built on the Mazda 3 small car platform. It has six seats in three rows. Now, the first generation did okay for Mazda. When I drove it, it was kind of cool at first, but after a while, you noticed its deficiencies. It really did feel kind of low end. Well, they've changed that and made it more palatable to Americans. We talked about the new Mazda 5 with Mazda North America president and CEO Jim O'Sullivan. So give me a feel for what you've done with the Mazda 5. Well, the Mazda 5, as you know, Jeff, is a vehicle that was, uh, it's, it's one of our global cars. Um, the space wagon segment, which is the fastest growing segment in all of Europe, is where is the segment where Mazda 5 plays in. Yeah, we think we're defining the segment here within the United States, within the North American market, because uh, with the introduction of this vehicle a couple of years ago, we're still the only real significant player in the event, even though a lot of competitors are coming. But we've done a lot of tr enhancements relative to uh, specifically for our North American market customer. We've done some powertrain improvements, done some enhancements, did a lot of interior changes, refreshed the, uh, the interior, um, add a lot of feedback that we got from the early customers of Mazda 5 on uh, you know, making the vehicle better quality and better craftsmanship. So there's a lot of different things that we'll take you through today at, at what this car represents. So what kind of feedback did you get from your customers? Well, one of the things that we obviously try to improve upon, it's nothing significant, but it works on the edges, obviously in terms of ingress and egress into the third row. Uh, obviously some powertrain improvements is what we ended up doing adding more options available, navigation system, things of that nature is the feedback because let's face it, people are looking for tremendous value in all package sizes. Just because something is large or expensive doesn't necessarily mean it has to have all the technical aspects of a vehicle. With Mazda 5, we continue like we do with Mazda 3, migrated a lot of that technology in the packages this size because this is what people are looking for these days. Now, as I look at this one, the, the one we're standing in front of has got leather seats, it's got some accents. Did you have an upscale trim like this before, or is this a new, new addition? No, it's a new addition because obviously it goes back to packaging. People don't necessarily, because they want something that's a little bit smaller, more fuel efficient, they don't want to give up the creature comforts that they might be used to in a different size vehicle. So uh, this is the Grand Touring Edition. The Grand Touring is the highest trim of the Mazda 5. There's also a Touring, and the base model is referred to as the Sport. It's already on the market. Prices range from mid-teens to lower 20s. I'm Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert.